Today's Baldwin. Today's daily motivation message is about. I told you I would do this, so I figured I'd just do it as the next one. Fire yourself. You got to know when to fire yourself from the job. Somebody was asking me the other day. I can't remember who it was that I was talking to, but somebody had asked a question. I was talking to. I was uh, being interviewed by someone, and they were live streaming. And someone in the audience asked the question and they said, well, Dre, we were just talking about, you know, getting things done and being effective and productive and, you know, making your list of building up your list of accomplishments by just getting stuff done every day. And the question was something to the effect of, Dre, what do you do if you've been working hard for a long time on something, yet you're still not getting the result that you want? All right. Have I described any of you right now? You've been working real hard on something for a long time. You're still not getting the result that you want. Here's what you do. The answer to the question is. You fire yourself from the job. And the reason you fire yourself, because the reason you've been not getting the result you want despite your hard work is because you have an incompetent, unqualified, and unskilled person at the helm of that job. That's the reason why the job is not getting done. And that person is you. So if you've been trying to lose weight for the last five years and you still have not lost weight, that's because you have an incompetent personal trainer, and that's you. If you've been trying to make more money for the last three years and it's still not working, it's because you have an incompetent business coach. That's you. If you've been trying to learn a language for the last three years and you still haven't can't put together a complete sentence because you have an incompetent language teacher, that's you. Anything you've been working on, let's say you've been trying to be more consistent, more disciplined and work harder, or whatever, anything you've been working on for an extended period of time, whatever you consider to be extended. And don't lie to yourself about this. Don't rationalize and bullshit and say, well, it's only been six months. So let me try another six months. See, that's how people end up mediocre and end up being losers in life is they keep giving themselves more time to figure out something that they already know they ain't going to figure out. That's how people end up losing in life. So do not lie to yourself about this. And only you will know if you're lying. But the way people end up mediocre and staying mediocre is because they have people who are unqualified helping them try to achieve an outcome. They are failing to achieve the outcome. But then they never fire the person who's in charge. And often the person in charge is you. That's the problem. I remember I was talking to somebody in my text messages. I send out this daily motivation text every day, which is separate from what I send in these messages. I'll tell you how to get that text at the end of this video. But they were saying um, they were just talking about how they were trying to get better at business and make more money and stuff like that. And they were telling me all these challenges they had and issues that they're working on. I said, well, do you have a coach to help you in business? And they said, well, you know, my, my uncle and my sister are helping me out in business. And I'm like, I'm looking at the message and I said something back to them to the effect of, I might not have said it in so many words, but I'm like, Mofo, you've had the same problem in business for the last two years. This is what they were telling me. You had the same problem in business for the last two years, but you got your uncle and sister helping you. Clearly your uncle and sister don't know what they're talking about or they don't know it well enough to help you. And you don't know what you're doing because you keep listening to them. But this person had convinced themselves that their uncle and sister was enough help for them to get to their desired outcome to the point that they're texting me and telling me about their problems. Well, listen, if your uncle and sister were any good, shouldn't you be talking to them? See, this is the challenge that many of you have is that you are unwilling or unable to recognize where the incompetence is. Therefore, you keep, uh, what's the word, sanctioning the incompetence. That's what they call it in business. If you read any business management books by people who know what they're talking about, you'll hear this phrase, sanctioned incompetence. What does that mean? That means you are, uh, there is incompetence happening and you're allowing it to continue. That's what san sanction means, means that you, you're giving it the okay. You're giving it the rubber stamp. That's, that's sanctioned incompetence. You're allowing incompetence to uh, perpetuate itself in your life because you've already recognized the incompetence. Like by the time you get to the point where you're like, damn, I've been trying to achieve outcome X. And despite all my efforts, I'm not achieving outcome X. Then you already know there's some incompetence happening in there. And if you keep doing the same stuff that already led you to not getting the outcome, but you don't change it, then you are sanctioning the incompetence. That means you're OK with the incompetence continuing, which means you deserve the mediocrity and the failure that you are currently mired in. So the question is, are you willing to fire yourself? Are you willing to fire yourself from the job and put somebody better on the job? Because if you fire yourself, but you're you're paying yourself with your life, by the way. You're not paying yourself with money. You're paying yourself with your life. It's more valuable than your money because you can run out of money and make more. You run out of life, you're dead. So you got to fire yourself and stop paying with your life and instead use your money to pay an expert who actually knows what they're doing, a professional who's actually good at the thing that you're not good at. Again, it's proven that you're not good because we can look at your results. And now you can start getting some real results in life. Now, everything that I just said, logically, rationally, makes 100% sense to every single person listening to it. The irony of it is 
maybe 2% of you would actually do what I just told you to do. 98% of you are going to listen to this, say that it makes sense, and then you're going to keep being the mediocrity that you are right now simply because it's harder for you to change than it would be for you to do something different. This is the law of inertia. It's easier to just stay in the same space than it is to change and move, uh, change energy states. This is the reason why most people end up average, not because you don't have information. All right. This, this website that you're watching this video on and whichever one you're watching, it don't even matter. They're all full of information. Now they got more information than you can consume. So you're not lacking information. You're not lacking resources. You're not lacking uh, connections. What you're lacking is initiative to actually do something that will help change your situation. You got initiative to do stuff that keeps you in the same spot. You've been doing that. You don't have initiative to do something that will change your situation, which requires discomfort because you got to get out of your comfort zone and do something different in order for that to happen. And that's the reason why most people are mediocre. It's sad, but it's true. So I'm making this message for the 2% who actually are going to do something. We'll see which of you that is. And with that said, I told you I'll tell you how you can get my daily motivation text message, a different message I send out every morning. My number is 305-384-6894. Text me at that number right now. Let me know you want that daily motivation text. You'll be getting it every day starting tomorrow. Next, work on your game university. That's where I do all my coaching, all my high-level trainings, all my high-level frameworks, masterminds. Everything is in the university. Go to workonyourgameuniversity.com. You can see your options there. And do all the YouTube stuff while you're here. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Like, comment, share the video, comment on the video. Let me know the best insight you got from today's daily motivation message. Have a great day. Work on your game.